let me make up a story and use a random name. Let's use the name Tommy. In the past, Tommy would have sex with different women. Now, he feels bad about having sex before marriage. Why? It is a sin. It is not of God. There is a woman he plans on marrying. He speaks with her and believes marriage will work for them. Tommy is so excited that he tells his family and friends that he is planning on getting married. Most of his family and friends knew how Tommy used to be and few have tried to stop him from having sex before marriage. Now that Tommy is trying to get married, it seems like most of his family and friends have nothing good to say about it. For instance, are you sure you want to do that? How about live with her first and see how it goes? Don't marry her until you live with her for three years. You should have sex with her first and see if it is worth marrying her. What if she isn't able to have children? What if she murders you when you are asleep? What if she cheats on you and steal your money? What if she is a witch and cast a spell on you? You should have fun while you are young and get married when you are old. What? When Tommy was having sex before marriage, few opposed it. Why are more people against Tommy getting married than having sex before marriage? Does that make any sense? Why would a person choose to be quiet when someone is doing wrong, then speak up when a person is choosing to do something that is honorable. It makes no sense to me. I think it is demonic. Let's think about it. I believe Satan wants all humans in hell. Don't you think so? I think so. If Satan wants all humans in hell, why would he want us to do what is right in God's sight? Have you thought about that? With the story about Tommy, example, I believe demons are using people to get him back to fornication, which is a sin. Marriage is better than having sex before marriage. If you are having sex before marriage, stop it and get married. Fornication is not worth going to hell over. Let me stop here. God bless you.